if you think you look at the screen you can see it's connected through usb and this is the phone here and that is the Ethereum webcam on the screen you see so we are not currently using any wi-fi here it's all done using this usb cable here a couple of months ago i made a video on how you could connect your phone to the vmix or obs using the usb 20 meters 3.0 cable and that particular video i already demonstrated with an android device which you know caught a lot of questions from those on the iphone how can they also make use of iphone for this i dedicated a full video on how you could use your iphone as a webcam both on obs and the vmix and the fun part is you could also connect your usb cable and wi-fi using this method so if you decide to use the usb 20 meters 3.0 cable that is fine and if you decide to connect through wi-fi that is also fine depending on whichever one you have access to i'm going to be covering all of that in today's video and we're also going to be taking a look at the different software both the aerial webcam and also the droid cam obs so we're going to be taking a look at those two different software and how you could also use it to link up your iphone and use it as a webcam put on vmix and obs you would want to stick to the end of this video to get access to all the information fully packed in this particular tutorial <music> Team Pro and right here on the screen, you can see the connected through Ethereum webcam. And if you take a look at the screen, you can see it's connected through USB. If you want to use your charger, you want to get like, or maybe you want meter or 30 meter USB cable, you have to do just plug this end here to the 20 meter USB cable. That's for the 20 meter USB cable video that I did. Let's plug this end to it and then the other end to your phone. You see, and if you want to use your phone for it, plug this mother end to your phone and then the other USB end to the um, system. And there you have it. So you can be able to do this. So the first thing you're going to do is to go ahead and download iTunes. And if you don't have iTunes on your system, on your Windows, you can't be able to use the USB or rather your charger or connect your, your phone camera to the Ethereum webcam using your charger or the cable. So you have to download iTunes first. You just go over to here, iTunes download. And then just go ahead and download iTunes for Windows. Now, if you also use Mac as well, also go ahead and download iTunes for Mac as well. If you use Windows, download iTunes for Windows. If you use Mac, download iTunes. And once you're done, this is the software here. Does that? Let me just search for that. iTunes. And that is it right here on the screen. Open up the iTunes on the system, connect your phone cables, and it will just show you the prompt on your phone to put in your password. Once you've already put in your password, the iTunes will connect. Don't do any update on the iTunes here, please. It might just affect your iPhone. All right. And then once you already connect that, open up the um, Aaron webcam, and you should be able to see this connection here that says USB. And that is how you can be able to connect your iPhone to the Aaron webcam using your USB cable. Okay. And it works perfectly fine. You can scale this to 4K and you can use any type of quality you want at all. If you're wondering how do you bring in the iron webcam on your VMUS OBS, just the same process. Go over and click on this on the sources, click on this add button here. And then you're going to see the video capture device here. Just click on the video capture device, click on OK. And from here, just allow it to load. For me, just click on it. And you're going to see the iron webcam here. So this is it here, the Iron Webcam, not the Iron Webcam 2, um, 4, and 3. The Iron Webcam 1, and that is for the first one. It enables you to connect up to four cameras. So if you connect any second camera, third camera, or fourth camera, you can be able to also bring them in, put on OBS and on VMIS just the same way. The ones that we did with the green screen on it. So. Okay, so dear friend, this is no longer in Nigeria. So let me use that, I mean, um, so this is the one we did with the virtual green screen on it. So that's him here. And then we we'll have to play around, place a picture behind there, and then place our, uh, what do you call it, our intro video that we're just playing on repeat there on the screen. So you can see it here to keep repeating it, repeating it. And that's him here. So we're just trying out, just trying to try, I just tested out different things for him. And this one's what we did with me software. So we also created similar template with the Prism Life um, Studio 
as well, we created everything, but from the VMH to the prism light. So this is how the USB cable with 20 meters new to female looks like. Now, the male part is the one that goes direct to your system, and the female part is where your charger USB goes into. Now, for those of you who didn't watch that particular video, I'll drop the link in the description of this one. So you can go ahead and also check that out. So the male part goes directly to your system, and the female part of the USB 20 meter cable is where your charger USB goes into. Now, before you plug this to your system, make sure the iTunes is running because that is what powers your phone and enables the connection between your phone camera to the Aeron webcam or the Drycam OBS, depending on whichever one you choose to make use of. Now, if you use the Aeron webcam, it allows you to connect up to four cameras so you can connect up to four iPhones to it and bring it in on OBS and also on Vmage. But if you use the Drycam OBS, you can only connect one camera. So it doesn't enable you to connect more than one phone. So, but the Aeron webcam enables you to connect up to four phone, and that is just the advantage of it. Now, this same process is what applies for both Mac and Windows. So, if you want to use your iPhone on your Mac, it's still the same thing. Load the iTunes on it, and if you want to use your Mac on your Windows, make sure the iTunes is also running on it. So, any of them that you're making use of, make sure the iTunes is running before you connect the USB cable to your system, and then to install the Iron webcam because it's also available for both Windows and Mac, and also it's their app is available on both on Play Store and also App Store as well. So it's just the same process that applies to both of them. Now the only prompt you get on your iPhone when you connect your cable to the to your system, whether Windows or Mac. It's just for you to put in your password and once you've successfully put in your iphone password it will ask you is this device trusted just click on yes and that will enable the connection from your phone camera down to the iron webcam for you to bring it into the obs or the vme software if you want to use the Drycam obs for your iphone here's what you're going to do just head over to this web page here to download the plugin okay so this is Drycam obs the plugin right here on the screen so if you're on mac you can also download the plugin and install it on your own OBS software. And if you are also using your iPhone, all you have to do just for you to go over on your app store and search for the app. It's called Dreadcam OBS or Dreadcam app. Just search for it on your iPhone, Dreadcam app. You should be able to get that and download it. And here you can also install the plugin. So just once you finish downloading the plugin, just click on here. And you can see here, you can download the plugin for your Windows and also for your Mac. That's to use the Drecam OBS. So just click on any of the device that you're making use of. If you're making use of Mac, just click on it and then download the Drecam for OBS. See here, this one is for the OBS 30 version, the 29 version, and it also have for different versions of OBS. So once you finish downloading the plugin, go ahead and install it for your Mac. And if you also want to download for your Windows, click on here. And just go ahead and download the Drecam OBS plugin for your Windows as well. So once you've also downloaded that, go ahead and install it. Now, once you finish installing the Drecam OBS on your OBS, this is how it looks like because that is what I'm currently using to record this particular tutorial you're watching. Let me show you how it looks like. Let me drag this window here on the screen. Now, on your own OBS, once you've already installed the plugin on your Windows or your Mac, make sure the OBS is not running while you're installing the plugin. Now open the app up on your iPhone or your Android. And once it's open, connect your USB cable to your system and make sure the iTunes is also running on that particular system, be it Mac or Windows. And once the iTunes is running and everything is connected successfully, the cable is connected successfully and you follow the prompt that I split earlier. And just click on this add button here, the plus sign on your OBS and you're going to see the Dreadcam OBS here. This is a camera here. You can see so you're going to see the Raycam OBS as a camera here. Just click on it. Both on your Mac, you're going to see this. And also in your Windows, you are going to see this. So just connect your iPhone through USB cable to your system. And if you want to use it through Wi-Fi, just connect your iPhone and your system to the same Wi-Fi to be able to use this. All right. Now just click on OK. And from here, the next thing you just have to do is just for you to your device here. You can see it. Use Wi-Fi IP address here. So if you connect your iPhone and your system to the same PC, you will be fine. That is if you want to use your Wi-Fi. And if you want to use a USB cable for this, it's also perfectly fine. All you also have to do is for you to just make sure that your USB cable is connected to your system, whether your Mac or your Windows, your iPhone from your iPhone rather, and then make sure that the iTunes is running. Okay. And from here, you're going to see USB connection. Let me show you from my previous one that I did. Just let me enable this, double tap on it. And you can see here, 
on the screen here, you're going to see XMA51 USB. That is it here. This is how the DreadCam OBS looks like. Okay. So the only disadvantage of using the DreadCam OBS is you can only use one device at at all so you can't use more than two phones to it but if it's the iron webcam you can use more okay and that is why i actually love the iron webcam i prefer the iron webcam rather compared to the dreadcam obs <laughs>